Welcome back guys to Tales of Azaria, where last episode we checked out the East Laban Tunnel further. A little bit of a side dungeon jaunt for any goodies that are inside, fighting our first dire foe. With that, we make it back to town properly. Am I going back this way? Yep. Chinka de no 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 bomb will take us- oh. Well you might want to just get the bunch of souls right around that corner. That was only free, I thought it was like more than that. Should I use the blah 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 bottle? You could do. Which one are we going to? Renied. Boop. The question is if it lets you do it, because of course sometimes it's trying to not let you do it. Because of cutscenes. Cutscenes, cutscenes. Right, is the well, card seashell. guy back? Oh, look, there's a thing. The card guy's back, yeah. Becca only cares about her tails coins. Now what are we going to do? What's wrong? This dog came up with a book in its mouth. Here, take a look. Hmm. Huh. It looks pretty old. I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avarost, that's for sure. Part of it looks like a chronology, so maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. He likes knowledge. We hate that. Dee, 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 dee. We actually Is got something the then? I think so. Where's the end though? Oh, it must be where the other speech bubble turned up. Probably. Do, 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 do. A chain talkie quest? I wonder if the Diofo gets you any money. You know, I thought he was having a big Yes, they did I. I, I thought he was having I a just big then old went, wee. Yeah, he's probably not. <laughs> my book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Videl? Is this yours? My book! Oh, that book is super important to me. Thank you. Uh... I'm Lafayette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Meliodasian's script? You recognize Meliodasian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're <laughs> referring to the Dark Period, right? <laughs> right. Almost no written records from the Age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know! Look at those two, all worked up over an old buck. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. We received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're on to us. Get him! Quickly, hide in my house! Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh. Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too! Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. 
If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Videl. Laffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Laffy said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. Boat, 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 boat. Right. That's actually a side quest from just one of those things, which is this. not. We've missed a couple. <laughs> Great. Oops. Let's do this one round. Missed a couple what? Style, guys. The exclamation marks. Well, that's the first one we've ever seen turn into a quest out of like 600 billion. Ooh, ghost ship's anchor. No, it's more the second ingredient. The oh, thing we, we didn't have that. today. <laughs> we actually did. I just used soy sauce instead. Why do you got worse really the sauce in this? I thought it tasted really good with the soy sauce. See, I was right. I, I can substitute. Probably been eat better. I didn't have that, and I've yeah, watched. We'll have enough, in the future. I've watched enough food wars to know what I can substitute. Mm. For umami. Umami. Go ships anchor as well. Cabbage is pretty this cool. This recipe looks Ooh. real tasty. Uh, crispy. Uh, maybe tasty cabbage and other vegetables keeps the I whole table quiet except for crunching. I stuff. It's just you're a salad phobe. I don't even know how you poo. Like your diet the is the same awful. as most people. You oh, I, sit, I sit on the loo and then I hover for a Scout bit using jet two power. Days, about two days praying. I to the yeah, I channel my energy and then I go Kame Hame Poo and it shoots out and then we have to buy a new loo because I shared it. Probably. And we're not playing that. Oh. We played loads of Hanafuda. Hanafuda. Where is the time? 9.30, okay. <laughs> do, 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 right then, uh, go talk to the Code Red guy. Hello. Just in case you get anything for being a dire foe, obviously not. Okay, no, we did get something. I just hope what you're doing... Help. Why well, you said that before. Frenzied Wolf is all we got. Bah. Bah. Right then, onwards. To poo. I can't spend my two days channeling. And chanting like the Ugo Gwagi Bagui Zao. That's not is. a Kami Hami Ha, that's a spirit bomb. That would take episodes and episodes. Yeah, you gotta like have your hand in the air, yeah. <laughs> Channel me your energy stream, I need to go to the toilet. It's probably what you need to do. Fiber is what you need. Uh oh. I'm sure this will be fine. This doesn't look menacing. There's only like loads of excess. Throw frogs at them. Did I see another shiny? He saw a potato. I heard the frog. Let's keep walking. Talk to them. No. Mm. It's not how you be sneaky. We could. Can... We're in disguise. <laughs> take it. Take our poo energy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't energy. been in five years. <laughs> Probably. You're like a weird monk storing it all up. Yow, You're like yow, a transformer yow, yow. making energon cubes. <laughs> <laughs> this big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere. But then, the water turned all gooey. That's when I finally went. I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck. And before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? 
Yeah, that's what I thought too. But these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary. I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy, an estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes one through three have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So, class four administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want. But no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class Four administrative zones? <laughs> I've heard of ten such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey. But I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna wanna be prepared. <laughs> you can now go to a class four administrative zone. It sounds that like an office me, place. I was gonna say, it reminds me of that bit in Black Books where... He's trying to stay out of the cold and he's got into that porn shop. And he's looking for like administrative nurses porn, thinking that they won't have it. They've got like the fourth one in the series. <laughs> you should watch Black Books if you haven't. It's amazing. Demons! There's more of them! A whole band of them rampaging through Warg Forest! There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more! And they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but. What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this and don't leave poor for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. We demons. We speak to you about demonic things. Many demonic things. Nom 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 nom. Right. I guess it's a good ch chance to save as well if we if we might, because I'm pretty sure you're gonna go. Ooh, this administrative zone. Let's go there. Goo Island sounds lovely place for a holiday. Yes, a holiday. Garlic. Amazing. We needed that too. We just found all the ingredients we lacked for our food today. Garlic and yeah, we just forgot sauce. to buy that. <laughs> Those were the two other it's ingredients we needed. It's because I had needed. a meltdown in Iceland. I was like, I hate Iceland so much. Stupid Iceland. It's the worst place. There's always super long queues. And they don't put enough staff on the checkouts. And what? there's a cat there. Oh, get the cat. That's not a cat. Yes, or is it? No, it's a rat. <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> it looks similar. <laughs> well, what was I saying? You hate Iceland. I do. Stupid. You say it again. <laughs> oh, did I already do that? No, you didn't actually. I lied. That's like, hmm. Am I going crazy? Stupid Iceland. Put more people on the tails. They put the most geriatric old bag of bones on the frigging thing as well, so they scan about one item a minute. First mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. 
Y you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready <laughs> whenever. <done. laughs> <sighs> the pirate's creed, huh? There's worse out there. Just to clarify, my beef is with Iceland the shop, not Iceland the country. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to the country and have no opinions of it. This is the thing they might not know about. <laughs> they probably don't have Iceland's across. It's not like a, Here, a global name. The reason they call it that is because it mostly sells cheap frozen goods. It's pretty much entirely frozen goods apart from a few sidelines that are like the cream off the top of profits. Mums go there. That's their catchphrase. I hate it. Right then, do you salt we sail or do we bother? Because Becca's probably going to go, ooh, gooey monsters. Gooey monsters. Class four, four things. Aberrant like. quarter. I like the aberrant titans. That means I like the aberrant goo. That's where we're going to die in it. Whee! Ba, 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 ba. If it's hard, we can always. What? I'm not recording any gameplay, PS4. Gosh, it's really wants us to know, doesn't it? Well, I'm gonna have to walk around here because I've been brainwashed from years of playing games that one day I might find an extra piece of poo by going around the corner. Do do do. Wait, so this is like an arena battle? Oh, cats. Are they going to die or not? Probably. Don't make us die, Becca. Laughing glasses. Does that mean it's the triangle eyes? Don't make triangle us die, Becca. Eyes. Please don't make us die. Make us die. It was right there. That's the noise those glasses make. Yay, wow. danger. Danger, danger! I think we should leave the island and come back later. High voltage! When the kiss, when the touch. That's the wrong way around. Well, I was just testing you. <laughs> I was like, I know that Sam super loves Electric Six, and I can expose him by intentionally saying the words wrong. Danger, danger! Oh god, why are we Slam going up here? Voltage. Is that a fighting arena of some sort? I don't see any demons around. Look! There's something spewing out of the middle! I sense a really malicious force emanating from it. It's probably the vengeful spirits of those who fought and died here looking for glory! Ooh. Thanks for that. Now I've got goosebumps. Let's try not to wind up as more vengeful spirits. It's actually go, the opposite go, end of my go, toilet. Go, go, this is what the other side looks like. You can battle waves of specific types of demon. Select seven demons to call demons to the arena and commence battle. After a certain amount of demons have been defeated, more will appear. The battle is over when all demons have been completely wiped out. If you are defeated in battle, you will return to your original pre-battle status. Make sure to prepare yourself fairly before stepping up. The first time you clear the challenge, you will receive rewards to give it your all. So we might die and it just checkpoints us in front by the look of it. I've Don't let me view the instructions the then. Ones. They're weak at the moment. But it's got music. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Isn't that like the diaphragm we fought as well? Yeah. This guy. Octopus is. They're really weak. They're really, really weak. Slightly bigger octopuses. Come back here, you octopus. Genarian. Right, octogenarian. I had okay. a ruder thing in mind to begin with. I was thinking along the kind of James Bond line. Thank you, 
constantly forget what each thing is weak to. Uh, not so hard so far. Which is why we're expecting some kind of boss to appear. Anthropomorphous beast! Oh, some smaller things appeared. They're weak to green. Kill him! Kill him! What's she doing? She's like nuking the world. Oh, I accidentally picked off that guy really nicely. Next. You'll die or be killed. <laughs> we give everyone such good options. <laughs> and they're weak to green as well. Let's go! Eat it! Pressure! Smash them! Stone lamps! Pummel! Wind lamps! I don't know why I'm treating this very seriously at the moment, just in case. Easy, easy, easy. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu! Quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts! <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. The Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh... Something wrong? Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Solitoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. Rude. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything and everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. Didn't give a crap. I like that quite a bit. Seems you can skip this bit, but we'll just take it. We finally made it here! Yeah, sea shanties! Hi-ho, hi-ho! It's off to where we go. <laughs> that sea shanty. What is that? That's called a pangyon, a type of bird native to this area. I'll take five. Pangyon. Their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. Wow! What's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? <laughs> Savage. You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the chit-chat. Magilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm. Well, how do I put it? <sighs> oh. You know, like that. <laughs> like what? Oh. Well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grimm's got a sort of listless, aristocratic air about her. A noble woman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman? Okay, I got it. Well, since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Mogilu, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? <laughs> Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagow! Chapoom! Bye bye! Your feelings broke? 
Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. Kee hee hee. Lo 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 lo. You gotta please don't cover their eyes in cutscenes message. Oh, but 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 just a little. You just tell it for They're the best ones is the emotion <laughs> glasses. At least they show some emotion then. <laughs> they do show emotion, it's anger uh, mainly. Petulance, angst. You and your glasses. Well, they put them in the game. And blame her, basically. <laughs> Ah, no, not interested. Didn't mean to talk to you. I was just looking for shinies. <laughs> Get away from me! What's down here? Oh, whole beach area, look. Oh, it could be a new mini game. Could be. Do you want to just talk to it for two seconds? Mm. No. Mm. Just going that mm. way. There's stuff down there. Mm. <laughs> tuna. tuna! Tuna! It's your friend, Tuna. Tom. Do, 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 do. <gasps> a red thing. Is it like super powered, Herb? Ooh. Yes, it decreases by three instead of by two. There you go. And how are we going to distribute them? By magic. Boop. Do, 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 do. I will experience. You've got to put something there after you make it, you bum heads. Mm. Oh, yeah, minigame. We've <laughs> entered Club Pengion. <laughs> Pengion. I thought PewDiePie moved into their servers or something. And then he got kicked out. Or oh, moved yeah, out. He did. Yeah. He did, like, shoot some of the light fixtures. Yeah. Mm. Well, you know, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Do, do, do. Slash thrust or pop. Who wants to play a game? I think we've already done them. If only there were more glasses. We could put Luger on someone's head. <laughs> the music stuff doesn't appeal to me very much. No. Nah. Benfu hat. That sounds amazing. No, it doesn't. It does not sound amazing. That sounds amazing. There's chest down there, by the way. That's good. First, where is this hat? It's not existing. Oh, it's probably because it's going to be like his. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh! Why me? Which? Where's the chest? What? It's down there. Look at the edge. Not that edge. Which edge? That edge? Yeah. Uh, gotta edge it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, thank you for the chair. <laughs> Not the face. Not I'll, the face. I'll take the glasses off of velvet. But... <laughs> Not oh, my pretty, pretty face. Oh, I really want to at least see the Benfu one once. <laughs> 